Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. Hanging out at Denio's in Roseville this morning. This is really cool. Yes, Denio's is kind of the one-stop shop for just a good day out with the family, right? Eating, uh, doing some shopping, but now you can come to Denio's to learn archery and brand new archery range has just opened up and I'm really excited to introduce to all of you the guy behind Robin Hood. That's what it's called. The range is called Robin Hood. David, come on in. Super cool to meet you and good to see you. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. So you have one heck of a story and I love it. So you learned how to shoot archery back in France and you thought why not bring it back here to Sacramento? Yes, yeah, so I, I learned how to shoot archery in France in the military, and then I moved here to Sacramento, and I thought it would be good to share it with others in the community, so I started this range, Bowcraft Archery Range at Denio's Farmer's Market. Yeah, so I mean, you've been teaching for three years, but this is brand new to Denio's. We have a ton of people here just hanging out, obviously, but obviously also learning how to shoot archery. When you teach people how to do this, what's the first thing, the first rule of thumb? Yeah, so the first rule in archery is we focus on safety, precision, and accuracy. Okay, and then just so if people want to come learn how to do this, what's the first thing? Do they need to go to a website and sign up, or can they just come on in and just learn? Yeah, so they could just walk in. We do walk-ins. We do appointments on our website, bowcraftarchery.com. Um, you can bring out uh, groups of 10, 15. We do team building events, workshops, Robin Hood hat making classes, yeah. bow building, and lessons. That's actually a perfect tease, David, because Robin Hood hat making we're going to actually do in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, you're amazing, but I want to bring in Steph. Steph, come on over here. Uh, Steph, I just found out you are nationally ranked number one in the country. Is there a particular division? Again, I'm just learning this like within minutes of being here. Um, yeah. So it would be the uh, female traditional archers uh, 3D category. Um, I had the pleasure of representing the United States last year um, in Italy with the US 3D team. Yeah, so. so cool. And you're from Santa Barbara County, right? Yeah, Santa Barbara yeah. County, uh, Orchid, California. Oh my goodness. So, so what would you tell anybody at home who might be watching who wants to get into this sport? What would you tell them? Um, just get out and try it. It is uh, really just the easiest thing ever. Um, it might seem a little scary, you know, because it's like, oh, what? I wouldn't know what to do. But it really just takes about a five-minute lesson to get you going. And then from there, we can, you know, work on, you know, the precision and the accuracy and whatnot. So, so much fun. Um, David, thank you so much, Steph. Such a pleasure to meet you. Coming up in the next hour, I will give it a go. I'm going to try this out, right? And then also, David, if it's okay, we, we're going to make some hats, right? Yes, yeah, we're going to build some hats. Okay, that's going to be amazing. I kind of feel like you can't shoot archery right? without the hat. Yeah, the hat is part of archery. So the Robin Hood hat so. is the look. There it is, Robin Hood hat, everybody, in archery <laughs> at Denios. Come on down. It is officially open. All right, guys, we'll see you next hour. Back on over to you. Is it weird that I feel like with some tweaks, you can make that an actual fashion accessory? I'm digging it, quite frankly. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, smaller feather or something. Thanks, Ash. Well, one local brewery 